Thank you. Along a stretch of Highway 115 south of Colorado Springs, you may have seen an enormous beetle along the side of the road. The sculpture of the Hercules beetle has been there for as long as people can remember. Yeah, it's certainly one of the biggest advertisements for the May Natural History Museum, a.k.a. the Bug Museum. But it's also become a local landmark that has undergone some renovations. John McMichael reports. Now, a lot of people were confused when the beetle disappeared off 115. Mm, it, was, like, it was there one day and then it was, it was gone. Many people have called us in Herkimer's absence wondering what in the heck happened to the giant beetle. So it was kind of cute. Herkimer, the enormous Hercules beetle statue that sets off Highway 115, serves as a landmark for regulars on the road, but also acts as a tie to the past for the family that's been running the May Museum for more than 60 years. Well, this beetle was assembled by my grandfather with some assistance uh, in 1949. The 10 by 16 foot construct has a fiberglass shell or exoskeleton over a steel frame, but even so, years of exposure to the elements and even the occasional vandal have taken a toll. So it's been through a lot. It has been uh, fixed a couple of times. But it's been a couple of decades. Yeah, it's due. It was due. Yeah. The revitalization process meant flying in an expert who restored the larger pieces of Herkimer while crafting fully new sets of the smaller bits based off the beetle's original design. And then a family friend gave the beetle behemoth a shiny new coat of paint. So it's just thrilling to have him restored in such a fantastic manner. I mean, truly restored and even improved upon. Well, it's complete restoration. We uh, did a whole new layer of fiberglass over the existing with uh, more modern materials, and uh, it's really strong now. Through it all, the more than a month long process of deconstructing, reconstructing, and revitalizing, the May family were hands on. We all participated, you know, rolled up our sleeves, and we were grinding and lifting and moving and, and, and refabricating and, and, and resining and just all kinds of work. Everyone was up here at some point or another in our pavilion doing the work. But now, the work is done. And Herkimer, applauded on the regular by the honking of horns from passing vehicles, is home. Oh, it's just a unique thing. There is nothing else like it. And when your own grandfather built it in the first place, that makes it a pretty special item. You know, people's enthusiasm for Herkimer is astounding. And it's nice that we are noticed. And it's nice that Herkimer was missed. In Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5. The people at the May Museum, as you can tell, are just as excited as everyone else to see Herkimer back in place. A giant beetle construction shouldn't need any additional repairs for at least a few decades.